Markup is frequently expressed as a percent, so let's take a look at calculating the percent markup based on cost. There are two ways of representing markup as a percent, based on cost and based on selling price. Manufacturers and most wholesalers use cost as the base in calculating the percent markup because cost figures are readily available to them. When markup is based on cost, the cost is 100%, and the markup is expressed as a percent of the cost. Retailers, however, use selling price figures as the base of most calculations, including percent markup. In retailing, the selling price represents 100% and the markup is expressed as a percent of that selling price. Remember the percentage formula portion equals rate times base. To review these variables, portion is a part of the whole amount, base is the whole amount, and rate as a percent describes what the portion is of the base. When we calculate markup as a percent, we're actually solving a rate problem using the rate formula, rate equals portion divided by base. When the markup is based on cost, the percent of markup is the rate, the dollar amount of markup is the portion, and the cost, representing 100%, is the base. The answer will describe what percent of the markup is of the cost, therefore it's called percent markup based on cost. We use the formula percent markup based on cost equals markup over cost. Here's an example of calculating percent markup based on cost. Blanco Industries produces stainless steel sinks at a cost of $56 each. If the sinks are sold to distributors for $89.60 each, find the amount of markup and the percent markup based on cost. Step 1. Calculate the markup. Markup equals selling price minus cost or $89.60 minus $56 equals $33.60. Next, calculate the percent markup based on cost. So the percent markup based on cost equals the $33.60 divided by $56 to equal 0.6 or 60%. A shortcut for calculating the factors of the retailing equation is to use the markup table. The cells represent cost, markup, and selling price in both dollars and percents as you see here. Fill in the giving information using 100% for the base and X for this unknown. And now we'll calculate the figure for the remaining cell in the column without the X, and then we form a box. You'll see it here. Now we can solve the proportion for X by cross-multiplying the corner figures of the box. Here it is, 